everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, Vice. The story of Dick Cheney and how he was vice president under George W. Bush. Um, evidently, this is a pretty good story, but what I do know is Christian Bale's in it, Amy Adams is in it, Steve Carell, Sam Rockwell, um, just to name a few. It looks like uh, Jesse Plemons is in it, you know. <laughs> Well, I always like because of Friday Night Lights. Anyway, um, so evidently Dick Cheney had a lot of power uh, when he worked for George W. And I'm not a political guy, but I want to check it out, see what it's all about. It happened during my lifetime, so hopefully it's interesting. And uh, I'd like to see how these actors play these different roles. So I'm going to check it out, let you know what it's really about, and then I'll check back in in a little bit. All right. Hey everybody, time for a really quick check-in. We're watching Vice. We're at the 46 minute mark. No seconds. Um, and, you know, again, it's the story of Dick Cheney. And they're doing a good job of kind of showing his progression to become the Vice President of the United States. Some little gaps that I'm not sure of. Um, uh, you know, it, they're showing he dropped out of... He, I forget if it's Yale, Yale or Stanford. Ivy League school, but... They show him with a cap and gown, so I'm not sure exactly where he graduated from. But anyway, through um, some kind of internship, he gets connected with Donald Rumsfeld, and uh, that's how he really gets into it there. I'd like a little bit more insight there. I'm, I'm actually very interested in this. Um, you know, and he picks his um, affiliation based on, you know, Donald Rumsfeld. He's like, okay, well, what, what, uh, where is he? Is he uh, Democrat, Democrat or Republican? He's Republican, so he's like, oh, that's what I am. And he goes, well, maybe he was before that, and it's just coincidental in this movie. I don't know. Um, but it was interesting that that's how he chose his political affiliation from that, again, in this movie, and how he progresses forward, um, how he becomes the chief of staff at one point, um, but then, you know, loses uh, bec being the chief of staff and has to kind of start back all over and become a congressman, whatever. Um, so th all that, I'm not a very political person myself, um, so I don't know all the intricacies that go in into this and, and how you can actually move forward and, you know, be in a career in there, whatever. Um, but what is pretty neat, I, it, it very educational, um, first of all. And I want to talk about the acting so far at the 46 minute. Amy Adams, not a fan. Never was. For some reason, I don't know. Didn't like her as Lois Lane. I don't know why she was chosen for Lois Lane. Didn't like her in a lot of different films. Sorry, Amy, if you're watching this. But in this, I like her. I think, you know, playing Dick Cheney's wife, by the way, um, I think she's phenomenal. I think I, I really like what she has done here so far. And I don't even know Dick Cheney's wife. I don't follow politics. I don't know how she was, but She's got me thinking, well, this is exactly how this woman was. Because it's not like Amy Adams. And then, of course, um, Christian Bale. So I was interested to see. I had just assumed that, like um, in the other movie, which escapes my mind. Um, but anyway, um, where uh, they're just going to put a lot of makeup on him. And make him look like Dick Cheney. But no, they have to do the progression. So Christian Bale plays um, Dick Cheney from start to finish. So they show him as a young guy when he gets thrown out of the Ivy League school, all the way up through through the 60s, 70s, and the 80s, and how he's transforming into the Dick Cheney like I know that I've seen on TV, kind of thing. So um, you know, and seeing his mannerisms and and everything like that, I think is is pretty um, interesting. So those two, you know, um, actors just alone, I think is is fantastic and. And the story that they're telling is, is very interesting, again, not knowing anything. So if you're going into this blind and uh, you're not very into politics, I think you're really going to enjoy it. Because um, you don't have to be interested in politics to enjoy this movie. That's what I got so far. I think this is going to, I say this all the time, and I, I don't know. But I think it's going to take me a couple check-ins. So stay with me on this one. I'll be back in a little bit, but I think I'm going to check in a little bit more often. Um, because it's... Like I said, intricate, and there's a lot going on, and I don't want to miss anything for you. So 
Let me get back to it here. It's a two hour and 11 minute movie, so I gotta have somebody to talk to throughout it, so. Stay with me? All right, see you in a bit. Hey everybody, wanna do another check-in real quick. Um, I know double check-in here. One hour, five minute, 20 second mark, not too far off from the last check-in. Um, but some interesting, two interesting things that I wanted to share with you real quick that I, I, I thought you deserved to know. First of all was the fact of, you know, at some point Dick Cheney becomes the CEO of some large oil company. Um, and, uh, you know, that's interesting. He comes completely out of politics, gets into the, the public sector, um, or the, yeah, the private sector, whatever. And, um, you know, and, and is running as the CEO of that position. And uh, what they do at that point in the movie was really really cool I liked it especially for this type of movie and I don't want to spoil it for you just check it out I liked it um, okay so then fast forward now where um, George W. Bush is trying to recruit him as a vice president um, and he wants him to be his running mate okay which we all know this is no spoiler alert that comes to fruition but the way that they depict George W. Bush was interesting to me not knowing that much, I mean, every president that we always have, I, I, I always try and respect the president, think highly of them, know that they have the best interest in our country at heart, whatever, so on and so forth. So don't want to get into a political battle. That's just the way I stand. Um, and I judge our presidents on gas prices um, and the impact that it has really to me. Um, so anyway, who cares? Let's not get into a political battle. But then they start showing Sam Rockwell plays George W. Bush. And uh, they really kind of play him off as a, aloof. Um, and maybe that's really what he was. I had no idea. Um, I, so I, I found that very interesting on, on the way that they're portraying George W. And essentially, he really needs Dick Cheney in order to become the president. So... Maybe all of you knew that, and you're like laughing at me now, but I found it very interesting. You know, Sam Rockwell, and he's a great actor. I love him, and you know how, you know, the comedic side of him is very apparent as he plays George W. Bush. And I think they do a great job of trying to make him look like him, um, at the very least. So there's certain angles where you look at him, and it's like, oh, wow, like, look at the profile. It really looks like him. So that's cool. But uh, I thought it was interesting in how he's portraying him as a person. So I don't know. A lot more to go. Maybe I'll be back. Maybe I'll just see you at the credits. I don't know. Stick around. I'll be back. Hey, everybody. We're finally at the credits of Vice. And uh, I was really intrigued by this movie. Really enjoyed it a lot. Um, I thought the transition of Christian Bale was uh, um, outstanding. Um, but the transition or um, the uh, morphing of Dick Cheney was interesting as well. So Dick Cheney, who starts out as an intern, rises to the power of vice president and changes as, as a man, I believe, throughout this entire process. Again, this is all based on the film. This is not based, I'm not saying anything about reality, um, what's portrayed in the film. And... His, you know, his morphing changes from what seems like a, a well-mannered man to a conniving, crooked, ruthless, um, I don't know if I had any other, um, yeah, ruthless, <laughs> um, crooked VP in this, some of the things that he does. So his ultimate goal, again, according to the movie, was to become the ultimate power. And uh, the what, the ultimate executive or something like that. Um, and although he's the vice president, he finds ways so that he can make all the decisions that he wants, and he can essentially run the country um, without anybody really knowing. And and that's the whole that's the whole point of this movie is that that is what he's done. Well, there's a couple of things that I thought were really well done in this movie. I talked about when he becomes CEO. Um, there's more coming on there. That, uh, But when he becomes CEO, the piece after that, like they, they interject a little bit of humor throughout the movie, just enough to 
you know, not take away from the serious tone of what they're talking about, but that piece was really good right after they announced how he comes out of politics and goes to become the CEO of this large oil company. Then there's this waiter scene. Um, that you have to see. I thought um, that was fantastic and in, in what they did there and it helps you understand everything that he had done but they did it in a uh, humorous manner. I'm trying to see real quick if I can get the actor's name who was the waiter. I uh, don't have it. Anyway, um, so I thought that was really cool. Um, it also reminded me of Shock and Awe. So, if you haven't seen my review, check it out. But that was about the reporters who talked about the invasion of Iraq and how it should have never happened. And that's what this leads into, because it was during this presidency. And it really makes a lot of It really helps. So if you watch that, if you haven't seen this yet, check that one out and then watch this one. If you know all about it, you probably don't need to do all of this, but it was really helpful for me. Um, they talk about when he shot that man in Texas. Um, very small segment in it, which I thought, oh, you know, I'm the surprised there wasn't more on it as they were going into everything, but that's in here as well. Um, two other quick things um, that I enjoyed or found interesting about this movie. Part of the, you know, the whole idea is that they used the 9-11 attacks to go after Iran, even though it was... Um, ISIS and and um, you know go after instead of going after them they 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 went after Iran they and they made connections um, to go after um, Saddam Hussein and part of that was taking a no name type terrorist um, and whether he was a terrorist or not but taking a no name person and saying he's the connection and because of that he rose in fame. And he used his fame later on to really become a powerful terrorist. Um, at least, again, that's that's through this movie. And Jesse uh, Plemons plays a narrator throughout the entire movie. And it and it's neat the way he does it. He does it in like a, a real character sense. It's not like he's just a voiceover or he's behind a desk or something like that. No, he's living his life and and showing it. So you know he's somehow connected in this grand scheme of things. Um, and it, I thought they did a great job with that. Um, so I really thought that that was good. Um, yeah, talk about the way to see everything like that. One other thing was the, the PR piece, the PR focus groups that they did with these people. So when they were going in and, you know, after the 9-11 attacks and we needed to go to war, they were surveying the people to see what they thought. And based on their confusion, um, they took certain actions. And that's all laid out for you here. Again, I don't know how much of this is conspiracy theory or how much of it is true. Um, some of it we know to be true. Um, some of it maybe it's true and I'm just not aware of it I don't know I found very fascinating makes you want to go out and research a little bit more um, to find facts and stuff like that you know with all fake news and whatever you know movies are movies which is fun um, but overall uh, for a political movie and I'm not a political person I was completely interested as I was taking notes on my phone I would have to pause the movie because I didn't want to miss anything or, because I did it a couple times, I had to rewind. That's how intrigued I was with this. So, I think it's very well done. Um, it keeps you interested throughout. And, it, and it, like I said, it inserts a little bit of humor throughout it. Um, you know, there's regular humor. But then they, they have, um, I don't know, spots of humor in it that's different. That I don't want to spoil for you. Because I want you to enjoy it yourself. That I thought was, was very timely. And, and perfect for, for this film. And the acting was great. Christian Bale, like I said, um, his transition as a character and as a human being, like the weight he gained, I'm sure a lot of it was makeup, but, makeup, but um, and uh, you know, Amy Adams, I enjoyed her in this as well. Um, and Sam Rockwell, I liked, but I, I thought the character, it's interesting, to me that they again played
George W. Bush as as they did with Sam Rockwell, and it was interesting to see how they depicted Dick Cheney after he became vice president, which was completely different than the whole rest of the movie. A ruthless kind of guy, um, and whatever. Um, so, very good movie. You gotta check it out. I think uh, you, you'll like it a lot. Um, definitely worth seeing. There was one other point I wanted to make, but I can't think of it right now. Um, so, that's all I got for you there. Um, you know, and they talk a lot, obviously he had heart problems, uh, Dick Cheney, so uh, that's very obvious throughout that and, and uh, interesting. Anyway, um, I can't remember that other thing, but check out this, you know, check out this movie. It's definitely worth <clears throat> watching, very interesting. I enjoy it a lot. I don't have to go on and on anymore. If I think of that thing uh, before I edit this film, I'll jump back in and tell you one last time. But uh, if you've seen it, let me know. Leave me some comments. Sorry. Choking on some cinnamon here. Um, but thanks for tuning in. Kimball's Irish Pub. Hey, everybody. I'm back. Post credits. Real quick, I finally thought about what I wanted to say that I found very interesting. Again, probably all of you already know this. It's fact. It's history. But as I said, Dick Cheney becomes an intern of some sort starting out and for Donald Rumsfeld, right? And that's where he cuts his teeth and, and starts to move forward and do all that and become the vice president at some point, at which he brings Donald Rumsfeld back so that uh, he's part of his team as he's becoming the vice president. And then ultimately, so he becomes his boss, you know, the student becomes the master, and then ultimately fires him. Again, this is all history, no spoiler alert, but something I learned in this and had never really had knew that before. So that's what I was forgetting while I was choking on cinnamon. So now you got it all. I won't be back. Hopefully, just if you stuck with me this far, oh, I really appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in. Kimmel's Irish Pub.